It's been about four years since someone last took the helm as a chief administrative officer of Guam's first charter school. The last CEO of Guahan Academy was Donna Duigans. Now former speaker Judy Wanpat, once chair of the education committee who had a direct hand in passing charter school law back in 2008, is taking lead. That will be then now my responsibility. I want to make sure if I see anything great that's happening and even what has happened in the past, I am now going to let everybody know so that I can alleviate that fear and to let them know that, you know, we're just as good, if not better than, you know, some other schools. Wampat eager to prove charter school skeptics wrong, citing student academic success that she believes sets charter schools like GAX apart, adding her thoughts on GAC's failure to achieve accreditation within the five years required by law. I know the law is the law and they're only talking about accreditation. And they totally dismissed Dr. Sablon's evaluation of her school. And I like to just lay all the fears out there in the community that GAX has not failed in terms of its academic of teaching and learning. According to Wanpad, the primary reason for WAS withholding accreditation, quote, has to do with their facility and the fact they couldn't make payment to the owners of the building. Finance another major issue she hopes to tackle with new CFO Wilfred Afflegui, former head of GDOE who retired from the AG's office. In fact, she agrees with Superintendent Fernandez's concern. What's is about two thirds of the of the um, about one third of the of the kids I think are coming from other outside of DOE. So if a private school student goes to a charter school, you're taking money away to from this you know from our school, it shouldn't be robbing one to pay the other. All of the monies for GDOE and the charter school all come from the general fund. So if it comes from one pot, then it would be easy for the senators then is to just de-link. Wampat optimistic her leadership will be a positive change for GAX. We have to be able to not only be held accountable because these are public monies, because we are a public school. And I surely don't want to taint, you know, anything and everything that I've done in the past because of, you know, some financial, you know, problem. CAX is scheduled to start school on August 27th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi.